All right, hello everyone out there. This is Day Trader Rockstar bringing you a special educational video on uh, the E Mini future and how to uh, trade it. This is going to be the, uh, probably part one and maybe of a two or three part um, video about the E Mini future, the ES, and uh, specifically the ES Mini, the S and P Mini future. All right, um, I had a lot of questions on Day Trader Radio t talking about the futures. A lot of people are interested. I think it's very important in this market to discuss this. I think it's a good time to bring this up. So I want to start off with a very basic video about the E-mini, uh, the S&P E-mini to be, to be uh, specific about this one. The S&P 500 E-mini contract is uh, called the ES for those out there. Now, again, this is a basic video. A lot of people are just interested. If this is a little... Uh, a little you know, a little edu uh, elementary for you, then uh, you have to wait for the other videos. But this is actually a good review, too. So, um, again, this is about the ES. The ES is traded. All right, the good things about the ES, uh, there's no pattern day trader rule to this. So those out there under $25,000 to get themselves in a jam, they don't can't, if you find you can't trade, you can trade the futures. All right, this is very important. There's no pattern day trader rule with the e-mini futures this is probably like the most money making next to probably currency trading and stuff you can make a, there's so much leverage behind the e-mini future here uh, that you could really make a lot of money and it's very important to to know how to trade this and when to trade this I trade it along with my stock trading and I think it's very important that everyone learns how to trade this so uh, we're gonna go over over this I'm gonna try to give you a good um, good education on this alright so Start off with the E mini, the S and P E mini. We're going to go by called the ES. We're going to just going to call it the ES mini. I usually call it the mini ES, the ES, the mini. I, there's three of three of them. You really and three major ones you could trade. There's actually all you know. Even stocks have E mini futures, but the ones that you really could trade really good is the the ES, the S and P 500, the Nasdaq, and the Dow. And they go by the ES, the NQ, and the YM. Each one has a different value to it. We're going to concentrate on the ES now because this is the one that really has the most, uh, is actually the most liquid and it has the most bang for the buck. So we're going to concentrate on this one. Uh, so when you trade the ES, um, it goes by ticks. Four ticks makes a point. You know, it's just a quarter of a point. So when you see the ES moving, it'll be going by a quarter of a point. So one tick, if, it, if the ES moves one tick or a quarter point, that equals 12 and a half dollars in your account so if you actually get into something just to give you basics here so basically one point consists of four ticks we're gonna deal with one point moves basically I mean I don't want to deal with uh, you know half a point moves or you know cuz you it's just it's so volatile when I trade the futures I trade them for big moves you know I get I don't trade the futures every day I trade them especially on days like today when we had a nice inside day breakout it's a perfect day to trade the futures that's why it's so important to learn how to trade the futures because you're, you're gonna have certain days in the market when the market's gonna be in full full blast off bull rally mode or bear mode or sell mode and you want to be able to short along the market in the futures because that's where the money is gonna start to pile up when your position moves in um, by one point, that means you're making fifty dollars. So one point on the ES, and I, you hear me talking every day on the radio about the ES, the futures, the futures, the ES moving. You know, the futures are up seven points. That means if you got up, you know, if you were in at the uh, beginning of where the futures went up seven points, you would have seven times fifty, which is what is that? Three hundred, three hundred fifty point, three hundred fifty dollars on a you know, a small move like that. Now back in the day. People were happy to get one or two points a day in the ES, you know, and that, you know, trading that. It was very small volatility. Maybe you get a move of 10 points in the ES, and it's hard because it's, you know, you get a pattern where it's very choppy, you know, and it's hard to trade in and out of that. But these days, you're getting moves, you're getting 30-point moves in the ES. I mean, 30-point moves, 20, 30-point moves a day. Not to say that you're getting pullbacks of 5, 10 points. Re rebound some days you're getting through 30 some days you're getting 40 50 point moves in the ES this is incredible in friggin incredible so uh, just think of this so based on one contract and most brokers out there you know some brokers actually uh, cater 
to e mini traders and they set their margin day trading margins lower so you could actually have five hundred dollars you know as low as five hundred dollars per contract in in your account five hundred dollars um i like to um i trade with interactive brokers and they require you to have two thousand dollars in your account to trade e mini contract so we're going to stick with that two thousand dollar you know just put a plan to have you could actually trade one contract in the any mini e mini futures es futures if you have two thousand dollars in your account that's what i'm getting to say here you don't need a lot of money to tr trade one contract if you have four thousand dollars you trade two continue on just keep it the rule that you need two thousand dollars usually in today's market in today's brokers to trade a contract at the e mini futures no day trading rule pattern day trades you can trade it over and over again not be penalized for it or anything so just remember that so based on one contract, if you had two thousand dollars in your account and you bought one contract, and um, and each each point of the ES is worth fifty dollars today's market, which is right under thirteen fifty, you would actually be leveraged out and you'd be be able to hold sixty seven thousand dollars worth of uh, futures if you had one contract. Basically, I mean technically that's what it would be worth. I mean this is just numbers and stuff, but just to show you the the leverage you get. For two thousand dollars, you're able to hold sixty-seven thousand dollars worth of a future. I mean, that's leverage for you. And because it's moving, you know, fifty fifty dollars a point. Let's take a look at today's market. We had a breakout of a inside day. We had a breakout of thirteen forty-one. I called for a big breakout above thirteen forty-one. Say you just got in there and say, all right, I'm going to get in on the one contract of the futures. All right, so you got in there and you just got in it. And just for the shits and giggles. You, we uh, we caught that move because we saw it come up to the 20-day moving average on the daily chart and say, well, 1360 is going to be the high. You know, I'm going to take my profits. You would have got 17 points in this move. 17 points in this move. All right, do the calculation. 17 times 50. I'll do it for you. 850 dollars. 850 dollars in this move that started at 9:30, ended at about a uh, little 11:30. Uh, so two hour move eight hundred fifty dollars. Show me where in the market you're gonna make that type of money. Not to say that's just in two hours, not to say that you're gonna get that, but you wanna trade the ES ES mini on days like this. A major breakout days. You don't want to trade every day because you're gonna get chopped up, it's gonna take your money. But you wanna know how to trade these futures. You wanna have this in your repertoire. This is gonna be a, a weapon to use on certain days, bull, massive bull rally days when the market's up. 200 300 points and these are going to come you want to be able to get in two three points on this next thing you know you're going to have two three thousand dollars in your account just by riding the wave up you know that's what i'm saying one of these days you're going to have some good news come out in the market and you want to be in on it you want to jump in with the futures again i traded the futures today i made a nice little profit but again it's hard it takes a lot of dedication you could have got this pullback right down here. Again, I was watching statistics here. I trade e mini futures strictly on statistics, uh, moving averages, time of day. I have four indicators. I'm going to go into that on the next video. I have four indicators I use when I trade e mini futures, and they work great. So I make you know you make quite a bit of money trading the futures. All right, that's what I'm going to just tell you right there. You could have bought this. You could have bought the you know the great hedges and stuff. I highly advise everyone learning how to trade the mini futures. I'm going to go in more specific detail in the next video. I just wanted to touch the basics and hopefully uh, get your interest sparked. Remember, major uh, major issues here. No pattern day trader rule. You get a big leverage, $67,000 worth of uh, futures on one contract if you're if each, you know. And if you have it, if you're holding one contract, you have $2,000 in your account, you could probably buy one contract. So it's, this is open to most everyone out there. You need to learn how to get in it. You're going to see me trade a lot more of the futures, so pay attention out there. I'm going to be calling a lot more futures on www.daytradingradio.com. Come on by, 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock every day, live market calls. A little plug for myself there. Spread the word. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you think and what you want to, what you want to hear more. I'll try to answer your questions. I'm out of here. It's late, and uh, we'll talk tomorrow.